Welcome back guys, this is Tech Tutorials for Teachers. Today we're going to be talking about Kahoot. If you want to learn more about why to use this resource and how to use it in the classroom, just check the description below. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be your home page when you first log in or sign in. Um, this is going to show you some of the new information from Kahoot some of the top picks of different cahoots people have made, and then just some general information over on the sides. If you look here, this is some of my information. You can add interest. So this is just gonna show, tell Kahoot what your interests are, what type of cahoots you'd like, and they're gonna show up here. Next, we're gonna look at discover page. This is how you're gonna find other people's cahoots so you don't have to create one every single time. So if you search, we can search for keywords like science, or if you have a specific thing to search for, you can search for it that way. Then they're going to pop up the most popular and most played cahoots that have been made. And then you can pick those, play them, see if you'd like them. If you do like them, you can favorite it like I have here, and they'll be saved to your cahoots. So you don't have to find it every other time. If you hit here, then you can search by subjects. This is going to be the grade level of your students. And then you have some more filters like who you are. So if you're a teacher looking for one, your students can find them to study for quizzes. And they can click that there. And then you can pick different languages. Next, we're going to look at the Cahoots tab. This is where all of your Cahoots are going to show up. Once I create one, they'll show up here in a list. You can have them thick like this, or you can thin them down. If you have a lot of them in a row, then you can do that. There is a function that you can organize into folders. However, this is a premium uh, upgraded version. So if you don't want to pay for it, that's fine. You're just not going to be able to organize into specific folders. As you can see, I have the free version, and I cannot do that. But if you'd like to organize it into different folders, such as different classes that you have that you teach, you can do that. Uh, if you don't want to pay for it, then they'll just be listed out in the order that you've created them or edited them or played them. Next, we're going to look at favorites. So this is where they showed up from the Discover page when I added it to my favorites. So you can hit the star and it'll go away, but they're all here in my favorites. And here's an example of what it looks like when you shrink them down. It just shows less information, but it makes it a little more compact if you have a lot of them in a row. And then if you want to play it, you just hit this. This is only available if you've created it. So if you've created it, this button is going to be available to you to edit your Kahoot. Next over here is shared with me. So if someone shares a Kahoot with you, then you can see it here in this tab. Then you also have my drafts. So if you create a Kahoot, but you don't want to finish it all in one sitting, or if you want to come back and look at different options for questions, you can save them here in your drafts. The next tab we're going to talk about is the reports tab. This is basically just going to be information about what you've played, um, how much you've played of it, and just some different information that way. You probably won't use this tab very often, but it's kind of nice if you need to get some of the data from, from the things you've done. You can also do groups within this. So if you have a department of math or science, you can have all of the teachers join here so you can play the same cahoots for your classes if you'd like the students to get the same quizzes um, played. You can create a group this way and send an invite to other teachers to join this group. So if you want your students in a specific class to join a group, and then you can have all your students and you as the teacher in one group, so then they can just find the cahoots easier and play them outside of class instead of not being able to reach them outside of class and study for a test or a quiz or something that you have made a study guide for in Kahoot. Finally, I'm going to show you how to create a Kahoot game. 
So there's different templates that will show up after they load right here. But I'm going to start and show you just how to do it from scratch. So if you hit create, this is where one, this is one question. So this is where you're going to type your question. Let's do what is five plus five question mark. Then you can insert a picture or a video to go along with this. You can get it from Kahoot itself. So they are going to have different random images for each subject. You can upload an image from your computer or Google Drive. You can also insert a YouTube link so that I'll show a video. You can change the time length of how long you want students to have to answer each question. You can assign different points and have it go up to 2,000 all the way down to zero. So you can assign how many points are worth for each question. Then you can also have, um, this is how you select how many questions are right. This is another premium pro function is multiple select. So if you want to pay for it, you can have multiple answers be correct. But that's just another pro updated version. These are where your answers are going to be. You need at least two answers and then options for through up to four. So let's just type in some answers so we can create a question. 20, 25, 10, 15, and the answer is 10. So you're going to check that right there. Next, you can add another question over here. Add a question. Here are some more pro versions. You can have different types of questions, but for the free version, you're going to have true or false, which is basically just two of the answers, or you can have a quiz like we just created. I'm going to show you how to do the true or false one. It's pretty simple. You just pick whether it's true or false, type your answer in there. All the different stuff are the same. You can also have question bank. So you can search for different questions if you have, if you're trying to think of different questions or find more questions, you can find them from millions of questions inside of Kahoot. You can import slides, but that's a pro version, and you can import a spreadsheet if you'd like to. You can also name your Kahoot up here, so whatever you want it to be called when people can find it that way. You can also describe what it is. You can save it to multiple different things. We're going to just, just save it to my Kahoots. You can paste a YouTube link. Change the language visibility. So this is if you don't want your students or other people to be able to find it and you just want to play it once in your class, you can click only you. And then lobby music. So this is just going to be the music while you're waiting for students to log on to the Kahoot. And then this is just going to be the picture. You can choose a picture for it to show with your Kahoot. Then you're going to hit done. We're going to name it just so we can save it math. Hit done. So that's named done. We've made a couple questions by a couple. I mean one, and then we can hit done. Keep as a draft, back to edit, we're going to keep it. So the reason why I didn't save as my Kahoot and it saved as a draft is because I've created a question here, but I didn't put in the answer or the actual question itself. So if we get rid of that, we'll be able to go over here, hit done. And then we can actually save this as a Kahoot and it's ready to be played. You can play it now. We can test this Kahoot, which I'll show you how to do. And then you can also share it with others. So I'm going to test this Kahoot. This is basically what your students are going to do is this. This is what you're going to do. You can have different teams so students can get in groups of multiple people so they're not on their own to answer the questions or a classic which is one-on-one -on -one, which is typically what a lot of people do 
So we're going to hit classic, ready to join. This is going to be, turn down that volume. Um, this is going to be the game pin. So this is how students are going to play it. When you sh choose to play this game, this is going to broadcast on your projector or something. And then you type in the game pin. I'm going to copy and paste because it's easier. And then they're going to hit enter, type in a nickname or their actual name. I'm just going to do E for short and hit OK, go. Now my name has popped up here. Whenever you're done selecting people, once all your students are in, you can hit start. And it's going to start the quiz. Two, one, the quiz starts. What is five plus five? So then once it loads, then they have to look at the screen to figure out which of these and then click the right answer. You're genius. And then the faster they answer, the more points that they can get. And then you just keep going with the next question. Once you're done, you'll hit done and then it'll rank them between one through three. Done. That is it. See, I got first place. There's nobody on third because nobody was there. Two and one. So that is how you test it. This is also how you play it. These are going to be your students, what they're going to do and what they're going to see. This is going to be your view or what is up on the projector. So as we go back to this screen, I'm going to hit done. Show you that it shows up in the cahoots that I've made. That's here. I can always go back and edit it. And I can always play it as many times as I want. That is it for Kahoot. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like and leave a comment. If you want to get notified for my upcoming videos, just subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.